This is a 2.5 liter Volkswagen left axle. These things are notoriously difficult to get out. And thus far, I got one out that the other shop could not. Let's just make sure I'm right. Yeah, I did. I was just making sure I wasn't screwing myself. All right, what did I did? Well, as Jason's gonna sit over here and try and start that thing up. hey -o. he got it started, nice. Sick. You're not pouring anything on the ground. Good sign. Um, he just put a motor in it. So anyway, what I did this round is you take a screwdriver. I took this little screwdriver right here and I g went through, damn it cords. I went up here through this hole to reach the top of the axle up here. So I wedged it up there and then I tried prying out with a pry bar. All right, didn't get very far. So took the air hammer, hit it there for a minute. As you can see the little bit of chisel marks on the axle. Great, it still didn't come loose though. What the trick that it's worked for a couple times now is a pry bar like this, like this. You take the curved end, you hit it there, so that way you're hitting it more straight on the axle directly out. And I still try and wedge the screwdriver at the top, so I wedged up there, and then I get this position and I hit the crap out of it using that notch that I made with the air hammer. And I just did what another shop couldn't do. And it was, it was being a trying little, it was being a little frustrating. So, if you want to learn how to get that out, uh, uh, pry bar with a hammer head that you can angle it up and hit outwards on it, air hammer it, just good old fashioned prying on it. The trick with those are, is you have to try and get even pressure on both sides. The other side's real easy because it's like, super exposed, it's not really cramped in there, you can just get two screwdrivers and go, pop it on out. This other side, not so much. Just to make it apparent, this is what's keeping you in there. This little C-clip. And so this thing has to compress before it comes out from the little teeth. And so that's what you're fighting. And I guess I'll sneak this in the video somewhere, it might look a little odd, but there you go. Here's, here's what you're trying to get off. And you can see the people that had it before me did quite a decent job at beating it up. I hope this helps somebody and I hope it's useful. Uh, also enjoy the sirens and the car startings and all the other noise. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next one.